What's up guys, this is Old Ninja wearing Avengers and Super Roja, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. It's specifically a tutorial, a sword tutorial here on the Modern Ninja channel. Going over one of, in my opinion, is the hardest sword trick to learn, or at least one of the most dangerous sword tricks to learn, the behind the head catch. And a couple of its variations. First things first, let's get a safe sword to practice with. You don't wanna just use any old sword that will cut you. This one literally won't. It, like it's designed for tricks. It's called a tricking sword. And if you're interested in getting a tricking sword, check out the links down below uh, where I have a link to Century Martial Arts and the discount code NINJA10 so you can get 10% off your sword shipped directly to you. I know some of the guys at Century Martial Arts personally, and they are absolutely amazing people. So definitely check them out if you're interested. Now that we have the safety out of the way, let's get into the toss. This special catch comes from the base of our blade up catch, where we toss our blade up, it spins around, and the handle falls into our hand, just like this. So this is step one. You wanna be comfortable doing this before even attempting the behind the head catch. Many of you are, many of you have seen my uh, my other videos talking about this trick because this comes up literally everywhere. So you wanna be able to do this pretty consistently without any major issues. Now, once you can do this, it's time to learn how to actually catch the sword. Um, to talk about the catch first, and we'll talk about the toss second. In the catching, part of this video, we're gonna go over our hand placement, specifically making sure the palm is up, just like here, where our palm is up. Our palm will be up behind our head, and it will be right behind our head, making sure we're not trying to reach forward or backwards or above it or anything like that. We wanna be right behind our head, just like so. Now with our toss, hopefully I remember to add the graphics in there, otherwise I will look like an idiot. But with our toss, you wanna still keep this circle, but you wanna slightly move it closer to your head. Just a slight toss so that it goes towards it. A way to practice and get used to this motion is to actually place your hand where it's supposed to be. And then flipping the sword down and placing it in your hand from the side flipping the sword behind you and placing it in your hand. This is kind of step one. This is the motion you want. Then we start to slowly let go. Let go, right? Be halfway, let go. Halfway, let go. And then we start to flip it into our hand. Now, this is I do, I've been doing this for a long time, so I make it look easy, but it's, trust me, it's not. And there's a little trick or two that might help you get the last little leg. Once you're here, you actually wanna move your shoulder forward so it doesn't get in the way. If you do not move your shoulder or twist away, your, your body can get in the way and actually you can hit yourself with your training blade, which again, will hurt a little bit, but it won't be deadly. Um, but you wanna make sure you move your shoulder forward and out of the way, opening and opening up your hand and leaving plenty of space for the sword to flip into the spot you want it to be. Next, we're gonna go over some variations. Our first variation being a double toss or a double spin to a behind the head catch. This requires the double catch. So making sure you can put more spin on it and still catch it after two rotations. When you do this with the catch, you're gonna to wanna to give it a little bit more height and make sure you have your timing. It's all about the timing and then sliding in with your hand, just like that. Again, that's one of the more challenging versions, so you definitely wanna be able to fire the normal one pretty consistently every time before you try the double. Of course, there's a helicopter when I'm filming. And then we move on to our behind the back catch. Our behind the back catch is very similar. It's, it's honestly a variation, I consider it a variation, because the toss and the way you toss it is the same. The only difference is instead of going up towards your head, it will actually stay in place right behind the back catch. Palm still staying up, letting it fall into your hand, just like so. And of course, there's the double version of that one too. Um, 
you just have to really be comfortable catching it there before you can add the double. Now, obviously this is more of a higher level technique for many of you guys to learn. So if you wanna learn a lot of my older ones, you can check out all of my older tutorials. I think I've done like over a hundred of them by now probably, but definitely check them out or check out my course that I'll be releasing very soon. If you wanna see me release courses for bow staffs, sword, nunchucks, all that stuff, um, I'll be you know, releasing that and you can just follow me here or on my other social medias to stay up to date. My name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.